Hey, Mike. Good to see you. Uh, after game four, Malone was pretty upset with, with the effort um, and, and everything that goes along with that. What did you see? What did you take away from the film uh, when you guys broke it down today? Um, they were definitely the aggressors. We played a uh, we didn't play with enough, you know, urgency. Um, you know, as a whole team, we just played soft. Like we let them get into us and take us out of our stuff. Um, and then it just comes down to execution as well. We didn't execute too many random possessions um, and no communication. So all fixable things, and we're looking forward to tomorrow. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Mike. It's clear that part of their game plan has been to. Uh, go one-on-one -on -one with Joker, and then to limit as much of your shots as they possibly can just by being physical. What's your reaction to, to stuff when they do that? Is, is, is there a way to combat that physicality a little bit more uh, just to try to get more shots up? Definitely. I mean, I think game one, I had 22 shots, then 16, game two, then I think 12, game three, and then three shots last game. But I mean, it's you know, it's, it's on us as a team, but a lot of it's on me as well, just staying aggressive. Like, if I'm not getting in the actions, I got to figure it out and transition, you know, on the glass. I can't let myself be as, as small of a factor as I was, you know, the last the last couple games, in my opinion. So you, they're doing a good job of, of, of executing their game plan for me, and it's a learning experience for me. But, um, you know, lucky for me, I got, I got good people around me as far as my trainer, you know, great guys around here that show me the film. So I'm going to learn uh, sooner rather than later, and it'll be a different game tomorrow. Chris Marlowe, Altitude Sports. Hey, Michael. Um, it seems like most of the time you're being guarded by Norman Powell, and he's kind of a wing guard forward at 6'4". Can you just talk about the challenges of, of him guarding you? Uh, what, are, what are his strengths, and how do you combat them? I mean, he's doing a good job, you know. Uh, low, low center of mass, and he just um, he's not worried about anything else besides sticking close to me and not letting me get shots up. So the shots that I'm normally getting um, are not there. And you know, uh, to even make that crazier, like when I'm coming up the screens, they're stunting, so it's very crowded when I touch the ball. So, like I said, I could do a better job of um, you know getting myself open. You know, like forcing the issue, imposing my will. Um, and then other than that, finding my shots in other areas, which is transition on the glass, you know, um, taking, taking advantage of mismatches in the post. I got to do a better job of all that. Christo Saltas, SDNA Greece. Hello, Michael. Hope you are doing well. How could you describe the mood in the locker room after, in the last couple of days about the game five? And how big is the de determination and the desire to bounce back in the game five? Yeah, we just all knew we came out way too nonchalant last game. Um, and you can never do that in a playoff game. The mood was definitely we were frustrated with ourselves as a team and frustrated individually, you know. But this is a game where there's going to be lots of highs and lows. And the, the best teams can learn from their mistakes and bounce back and not dwell on them too much. Obviously, I had a very um, tough game, you know. Um, but even for me, like, you take that day, you, you think about it. And then you go in the next day and try to get better again because it's going to be highs and lows. Told us staying even killed. Um, so I think the guys did a good job of bouncing back. In practice today, we had great energy, and we're excited for tomorrow. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, hey, Mike. Kind of on that note, what do you specifically, personally, want to do better in order to help your team win this series? I need to. I need to do. Uh, I need to get back on the glass. I think you know. I'm. I know I'm a, I'm a very good rebounder, but I haven't been rebounding like I need to be. Um, and I think that's one thing. And then, you know, like I said, imposing my will and not letting a game plan or a player um, or a couple players take me out of what I do. You know what I mean? Like, um, I can't let that, I can't allow that. And I got to do a better job of just imposing my will on the game and uh, making a big, a big impact because I know uh, we're going to need that if we want to win. Quick follow-up to that as well. When you're talking about watching film with your trainer and working out with your trainer, what are you guys specifically watching? Like what clips of you is he showing you, even other coaches too, and that you see and you say, okay, I need to improve this aspect of my game. What does that look uh, like? I can't really talk about that because 
I don't want everybody else to see what I need to do better, but it's definitely going to be different um, tomorrow, and I'm going to get um, better shots and be more aggressive tomorrow. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Mike, when you say get back on the glass, do you mean offensive glass, defensive glass? And if it's the offensive glass, do you mean uh, not kind of hanging around the three-point line anymore and crashing on those second-chance opportunities? Yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, but I mean, that, that both sides, you know, getting every defensive rebound that I can so we can start the break and I can push it myself. And also on the offensive glass, getting a second chance opportunities. Um, that goes a long way because, you know, as series go on, teams get familiar with each other. Buckets come harder and harder to come by sometimes. So um, I got to do all those little intangible things. Leonardo Torres, El Comercio, Peru. Hi, Mike. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Mike, how to handle the pressure to overcome a bad performance and win the game five? You just forget about it and move on. I know what I'm capable of. And uh, my teammates believe in, we all believe in each other. Um, and, you know, as a team, we got to move on. Individually, we got to move on. And it's a new game tomorrow. All right, that'll do it. Appreciate you.